what does it mean to be an artist, and what exactly is art? Acclaimed author, actress, photographer, and painter Marilyn Lightstone speaks with the Royal Commonwealth Society of Canada about what art means to her. This evening we're privileged to have a uh, very uh, renowned uh, speaker. She can enlighten all of us on the arts and just about every aspect of it. So we're just delighted to have her here. I consider art to be my true religion, that I, that I think it's what separates human from the rest of the food chain, except maybe for a few painting elephants and chimpanzees. My subject is arts and hearts. I will be speaking from my heart about a subject that affects me deeply, um, the pursuit to which I basically devoted my life, I guess you might say. Of course, he was buying the thought that there is something intellectual about art, something that you, you have to know, that you have to be trained in order to, to appreciate. And although some may find the concept of art confusing or pretentious, Marilyn assures us it's really just as simple as how it makes you feel. Personally, what I gravitate to in the world of art is something that makes me feel as well as think. Art that's so, so beautiful, so special, that I want to be a part of it. Because I'm not really too good about art, I just know what I like. When I see something, I know that I like it, and so I'm always interested in learning about something new. I'm very interested in a lot of these artists because we know so little about them, at least I do, and I'd rather come to a function like tonight so I can learn more. Well, I do believe that art is important in all, in all cultures that we've studied in history. Uh, Aside from having a, a great army, you have to have artists. You have to have people who can not only do the written history, but the motivators. Well, I thrive on challenges. I believe that we're, we only advance, we only learn if we keep taking on new challenges. Things we don't know if we'll be able to do it, and hey, sure enough, well, maybe we can, maybe we can't, but usually we can. You can hear more from Marilyn by tuning into her radio show Nocturne on the new Classical 96.3 FM or by checking out the website below. In front of the Arts and Letters Club in downtown Toronto, Amanda Lowe, Zoomer News. Things we don't know if we'll be able to do it and share it up. Uh,